So now the the thing that I want to show you here is that a common mistake that many developers do with extended components is to change the name of the original component. The idea is to keep the same name for extending it to keep the same name convention. If we're working with material Y, it's not needed to change the component name. For example, to say custom text field is a bad practice because we are creating another component and what we can do better is to override this component or extend the component, but with the same name, okay? So for doing that, we're going to keep the same name for our component that we are extending, and then we're going to generate an alias, so we can do the as a keyword, and then write material UI text field. With this, we don't have this name collision, and we are importing the original text field from material Y, but with an alias name, okay? Also, we need to import the properties of the existing material Y component in order to work with the same properties and don't lose the existing properties of the text field from this library. So for this, I will import text field props, okay? And the same thing here, I will create my interface But we are going to have the same problem It is colliding with the imported text field props So I will do the same process, I will generate an alias And now we are going to extend our current interface with the material Y interface. So with this, we are taking all the existing properties from material Y, from this specific component, and uh, adding to our new interface that extracts field props. And we are keeping the same name, okay? Now, if we see here, we're having a problem. The problem is that uh, this is not an interface, it's a type. So we can make the same process, but with types. So instead of defining an interface, we're going to define a type here. So we have type text field props equals material Y text field props, okay? We are creating a type that extends from this, okay? And we can define here the intersection type for adding more properties to this existing type, okay? So it's going to be the, 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 the mixture of the inherited type and our newer types. For now, we're going to keep uh, the inherited type. And now I will uh, take the existing component from material Y and I will Add here at the return, okay. And finally, I will put the interface on this type definition for React Functional Component in order to have our props typed with this interface. So as you can see, the properties uh, are going to have all the existing material Y properties and I'm going to pass it, the structure, to my uh, extended component. On, on this point, the, the, the text field that we have created is the same material Y text field. Yes, we haven't added newer things or new logic. Um, we are going to do this later, but what I want to show here is that we are respecting the solid principles. So uh, we are respecting the O of the solid principles. So it, it is open to, to be extended, but closer to be modified in functionality, okay? So in this case, we are keeping all the existing properties of the original material Y text field component. And then we are going to add uh, more properties or more logic to our current text field. For now, we're going to keep like this. Uh, we see here, 
if I put label, for example, now the label is going to be working. Put name. If I put name, uh, I will set something here. Name to and all the properties has been inherited. If I remove this, let's, let's try, you will see that this property doesn't exist, okay? Because we haven't defined an interface for this component. So the idea is to extend our component. Now, let's check on a storybook. It is working and perfect, we have working our material white text field. Okay, now we are going to uh, review another concept that is extending a method. So what I want is to extend the method on change. That is a method of this component. The method on change, we are going to define here a method or a function called on change. Yes. And this on change, we are going to have the, the same type of our existing interface. And now I will add a hello world. Okay, so we have created this method. I will put here this method. Perfect. And now if we uh, see the console here, every time we type, we're going to see the hello world. But with this code implementation, we have broken the, so the all of the solid principles because if we want here to add an unchange, a custom unchange, where, where we are implementing the text field component, for example, I will put hello universe. If we go back here, I will refresh that. There is no different behavior. So we have the same hello world. I will zoom this more. Yes. And what we have done is to break the unchanged method. So this unchanged method is unusable. Yes, because we didn't extend it on the right way, this method. So for extending on the right way and keep the hello world and also keep our hello universe console log. So we can add here props. We have the props here. And now we need to run our property again. So on change here. And it's complaining because we need to pass the arguments that the original method has. So it receives an argument that is the event. This is the original argument of this method. And we need to pass the event here. Okay. Also, we need to guarantee that if this method is undefined, so we need to add our knowledge operator. In, ca in case of this method, or this property is not passed from outside. Okay, so with this we have extended our unchanged method, yes, by adding newer logic that is the hello world, yes, and also we keep our ori original method uh, to be executed, yes, in order to guarantee that if it comes from outside, it still works. Okay, so in this case. We're going to have running hello world and also hello universe. So if we check again our console, we have both methods running. Okay, so I will try again. So we have hello world and hello universe. Okay, 